Right, the purpose of this short brief exercise is to demonstrate how important it is to set these systems up um, to ensure the automation does what it's supposed to do in the event of a power failure. What I'm doing now is I'm increasing the load on the generators by starting extra pumps. That will cause the shaft generator to trip and now the turbo generator's trip and we've gone to blackout condition. Within 45 seconds, the emergency generator will start. Can you hear it kicking in now, running up to speed? And if we look at the um, mains power diagram, you'll see that once it's running, it's connected and it's supplying emergency power. That emergency power now will allow the control system to resurrect the plant. Our number one diesel generator has cut in and it's running up to speed. As soon as that's up to speed, it will connect to the board and you'll hear the breaker go in. And once that's in, the lighting transformer will come on and we will have restored steady state conditions. Almost there now. There she goes, the lights back on. The only intervention I now need to make is to make sure the seawater is on to provide cooling for the generator. The bottom line is, as a watchkeeper, you must ensure your systems are correctly set up so that the automation will take care of the vessel when a problem occurs. That's the emergency generator just coming off. So you'll see again it's changed over. So we're now fully back on main bus bar running on an emergency diesel. My next action is to correct the plant and find out why the original trip occurred.